Hi guys, welcome to the channel. It has been ages since we've posted anything up here. COVID has just been hammering us. Uh, the ranges are opening, closing, opening, closing. No one really knows what's going on. Um, so it's been real hard to get out and do content for you guys. Uh, the NRL stuff is uh, still going pretty strong, uh, which is why I decided to do a 22 uh, video for you guys. So this one here is my match rifle. Um, I started off as a real budget rifle uh, in the way of how I was trying to put it together so you guys uh, sort of get an understanding that you don't have to go out there and spend top dollar or the top shelf stuff to just compete at these 22 matches. There's people rocking up with Brunos and all that. Um, the Bagara is an entry level barreled action which is what I've got. The Venom is an entry level. I had this in an XRS stock slash chassis uh, which is also a budget entry level um, but the features that you get for all of those components uh, are awesome for the price range I did upgrade the XRS to the ACC purely because I wanted that um, similarities between this and my Centerfire rifles so starting with the chassis MDT obviously ACC so I've got that familiarity between my rifles uh, weights are pretty much the same. I've got an extra weight on the external uh, component of the forend. Uh, moving into the barrel action, it's a Bagara with the 18 inch threaded uh, muzzle. I'll probably put the Huntsman barrel tuner on it purely because match grade ammo over here can be so damn hard to get. And I wanted something that I can sit there and just tune uh, same ammo that I've got just laying around or just walk into any gun shop and grab off the shelf and go tune it and get reasonable groups out of it enough to compete till another shipment comes in basically. So the Bagara is a good entry level rifle. Um, this is a barreled action uh, and then I just dropped it into a Rem 700 footprint. So most people have them laying around. Um, <clears throat> if you're just looking for a complete rifle, Lithco do a complete rifle, Ruger, uh, Tika, so they're all good options. Um, Voodoo do one, but it's not really a budget option by any means. I think you're looking up around four or five grand just for the barreled action sort of thing. So um, whatever floats your boat really. Uh, with the rings, these are Lee's rings from Trentec Engineering. I've been using his rings ever since he started making them. They're awesome and the quality you get for the price, I think these a couple of oh, five years ago, I think they ran 250, and I think they've only moved up like 20 bucks or something like that. But I've got three sets of these. I got one on the Centerfire match rifle, which is the 6BR6 Creedmoor, uh, the 22, and also on the 7 mil 8 uh, rifle. So <clears throat> I've got three sets of them. The optics that I'm running on this here is the Vortex Venom, the 5x25. So this is their new uh, scope. Um, that they just brought out. The reason why I got this one here is because of the price point as well as the uh, reticle in it is the same as what I run for my centerfire rifle. So I've got that familiarity um, between my rifles again. Now this thing here, I'm not gonna go into too much depth with the scope because I'm gonna be doing a separate review on that one. But bang for buck, it's loaded with features. But anyone who knows anything about scopes, the stuff that is included in here does come with trade-off. Uh, it just depends on what trade-offs you're willing to give up uh, in a scope. For me, how I look at it is none of the things that I'm giving up here in this optic is costing me points. So it doesn't phase me. I've got the, the main things I want, which is the same reticles. I've got a front focal plane, it's mill, and the turrets are easy to, to use and zero out. Comes with a rev stop um, and all that sort of stuff. So wait out for that for the review on that uh, other than that that is sort of a wrap for this one it was just a nice quick short video uh, to show you what I use um, if you were looking for a budget one um, those three that I, that I was talking about your Lithgow, your Tika and your Ruger uh, this here is a barreled action so this here was around 1350 the excuse me the optic was I think around 7 750 depending on where you purchase it from so you're looking at around two grand in total there. Uh, if you're looking for a stock or a chassis, if you're buying just this here, um, the barreled action, look at an XRS or something there and you're 650. So all that there totaled up, you're looking at around two and a half to 2,700 Australian dollars uh, as you see it basically. So 
It's very affordable for a complete rifle. Uh, it comes with a trigger and everything. This here's got the trigger tech in it. I took that out just so it's the same as my center fire again. Um, but that's about it. Um, everything else is the same. Depending on what COVID does, the next video will probably be my center fire rifle, uh, which is basically the same as this. Uh, so yeah, uh, stay safe. Um, if you're lucky enough to get out for a shot, well done. Um, hopefully everything goes back and finds some normality again so we can all get out and start doing what we enjoy doing. So stick around for the next vid and hopefully I'll uh, see you then. So catch us around guys.